Karen Bryan for M. Mahid. I'm here with Ryan Jimmo. He's facing Anthony Perosh at UFC 149. And I just saw your workout. How are you feeling going into this fight? Uh, I feel very good. You know, I was, uh, had a good training camp. I mean, uh, I'm very fit and uh, I'm focused. It's your UFC debut, but you have a lot of experience. You're a champion here in Canada. But what, what does that do to your, to your headspace knowing that, you know, not only is it your debut, but it's the first time the UFC is in Calgary and people have high expectations for you? Uh, you know, when you get in the ring, there's only two guys in there, and uh, it's time for me just to showcase how good I am. Well, we have seen you in the MFC, and it's not like people haven't seen those fights. They've been on in the States and all around the world, but, you know, is there something about your style or something that you feel that you present is different than other fighters? Uh, I, I believe I'm uh, uh, a little bit more of a chess player, um, and I fight more conservatively than most people would like, uh, but in the MFC, it wasn't, uh, the risk wasn't worth the reward. Um, there's more rewards here in the UFC to open up and be more risky and do more exciting things, so uh, that's, what the, that's what we're going to see. Well, that's what I was just going to say because you know the fans expect and want knockouts and you know a lot of a lot of firepower in there and conservative is kind of a word that people kind of don't like to hear. Fighting is not a conservative game, you know. This isn't ballet. This is uh, this is fighting. It's a rough game. So um, yeah, we're going to see some fireworks. And by by mean, saying that you had too much to lose, is that you wanted to you know obviously you wanted to stay the champ. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know if uh, I, you know it's been a long time dream to come to UFC, and if. In the MSC, you know, you lose because some guy throws a, uh, a lucky punch and knocks you out, you know, it, then your, your hopes are dashed a little bit. So uh, the risk wasn't worth the reward. If I was a poker player, the chip odds, odds weren't there and the card odds weren't there. So now uh, there's more money to win, you know, in a, in a poker analogy. There's more chips to win, yes. So what do you make of your matchup for your first time? I think it's a very good matchup for me, you know. I think uh, on an athletic front, I'm certainly the better athlete. I think Anthony Proch has uh, some experience in the UFC and uh, he's a very good jiu player so um, that will play a factor but uh, I believe uh, um, I will be superior and let's talk about your training you're part of the black Brazilians, right yeah yeah I'm a white guy neither black nor Brazilian <laughs> so yeah how did that work out how'd you find that camp uh, uh, I was looking for some new management and uh, researched it on the internet and they came up as a, a very good good company to go with so looked at the training partners down there and uh, I thought you know what Florida is a little warmer than Canada I'm gonna go down there and train and see what's going on so uh, I went down there and the skill underneath one one roof it's 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 absolutely incredible every day you're 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 fighting you're you're in you're in survival mode you're you're in fight mode so um, it's just made me better and let's talk about your initiation because you had to do something right since you were neither black nor Brazilian yeah, yeah, yeah. I pretty good break dancer so uh, <laughs> I, I got something, I got some funk, I got, you know, so I, you have to do that, you know, you have to have something or else, like, what? Yeah. You don't speak Portuguese, you, you, come on, so I, uh, it's, it's a little tough. I've seen that actually in the ring, you've done that after you've won fights, A little right? bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, very nice. Now listen, I've been here since last Thursday, I got to go to the tail end of Stampede. Um, what do you expect from the Calgary uh, fan base here? Because I was actually very pleasantly surprised, I went to see Snoop Dogg the other night, right. and the fans went crazy, and I, it was, I, it's, it's, it's kind of more active than I expected here. Yeah, uh, in terms of fans. I think, uh, uh, you're going to see an incredible fan base here for the UFC. Edmonton is a fight capital of Canada. There's more Edmonton in, in this area is uh, there's a lot of fights going on, a lot of fight organizations, a lot of fighters, uh, a lot of gyms. So you're going to see just a, a demograph come out that it, it's going to be awesome. It's, you know, better than Montreal. I'll, I'll, I'll predict. Yeah. That's a big prediction. I know it's a big prediction, but these people love fighting. You know, the blue collar, you know, they love fighting, and uh, we're going we're gonna to see a fly. All right. Well, thanks for talking to us. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much. Have a good one.